when I was a consultant for Amazon sellers, I would, I would help, I would work with them to you know help with their launches. The most important thing was uh, staying ahead of the game, but also not trying to reinvent the wheel. You know, like see what is the existing trends. Okay, like what are the popular keywords? What is a popular product? And then going out and finding products that not just equal what's already there, but can be a little bit better, a little bit differentiated. And that would always help you stay a little bit ahead of the game. What has helped me succeed in my private label business is believing in the products that I private label. So, so trusting where they're sourced from, tr trusting that they are good quality products, that if I put my brand on them, that when people buy them, they will like them, enjoy them, leave positive reviews about their experience with my products. Yeah, probably the biggest thing that helped us succeed is, you know, focus on building a real brand which involves better products, kind of better information, and really focusing on the customer. Uh, it's easy, you know, because e-commerce is so competitive, it's easy to kind of get caught up in uh, that competition versus other sellers and kind of the game of it all. But really, if you, if you focus on delivering a great product with great customer experience, that can be the foundation for all of those other strategies and really give your business a sustainable life. Never settle. That's um, something uh, that's a theme that's come up over and over again. With um, and it, it's really something that separates the successful sellers from the rest. Which is whatever you're doing, whether it's comparing different vendors, comparing different products. Really, always maintain that uh, idea, that vision for the bespoke quality um, that you want to manufacture, that you want to buy, that you want to import um, and that goes for the product itself, quality assurance, as well as uh, the sales channels and through your product marketing and everything. So really always maintain that vision and don't settle. You know, I think in private label, it's a matter of focusing on the numbers. You've got to understand that outside of your brand, private label is a numbers game. You know, you got to have the margin in your supply chain in order to have the right cost per acquisition numbers to grow through paid acquisition. You know, if your product doesn't make sense to sell on Amazon or Facebook just based on your gross margin, it's not going to make sense uh, as a viable business to really scale up. So for me, it's a matter of focusing on numbers and understanding uh, the numbers and margins behind these products. Products. I think the biggest breakthrough for us in our private label business has been understanding how to do proper keyword research. Understanding how our competitors are getting their sales and then being able to work backwards based on the demand. The biggest thing that I can say and that you always have to keep in mind is that you can't create demand on Amazon. And so once you understand that you can't create demand and you understand that your competitors are getting sales on Amazon, now it's just a matter of figuring out how they're getting those, those sales. So you can kind of reverse engineer that, that demand and that their, their sales and then figure out if you can beat them or not.